Hello, it's August 13th, 2013. Well, they actually managed to grow some beef in a lab using stem cells. So it wasn't actually part of an animal, it was just basically grown in a test tube. More or less. And, well, they cooked it up and made a hamburger out of it. And tasted it to see what it tasted like, and it basically tasted like a hamburger although it could have used more flavor because it didn't actually have any fat in it. But it did have the texture of a hamburger, so I guess that's what's important. I don't really think anyone would want to eat a hamburger that felt like jello squishing around in their mouth. So, uh, yeah, texture is important. It's probably going to be a while before it's available to the public since it's kind of expensive to make. And I imagine the main use of it will be to help feed starving people in third world countries. But I guess eventually it'll be available to everyone who wants to actually eat it. And some people have kind of balked at the idea of eating meat that's grown in a lab, although there's really nothing wrong with it, it's still meat. I guess people just like eating meat from animals. I'm not sure if in vitro meat, or schmeat as it's called, for some reason, meat schmeat, will actually replace meat from animals but it should eventually be an alternative for people who don't like eating meat because it comes from animals. So I guess time will tell.